Okay guys, so I'm working on a skirtless hovercraft. Saw a video on flight test of a guy with the uh, a, a bicopter Slave 1 and then he had apparently done uh, some F-Zero skirtless hovercrafts and I saw the video and I like it brought me back to my childhood, figured I'd give it a shot. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but what I've done is I've taken uh, two, I'm, I'm building it in the style of a uh, flight test, so it's all foam core board. Um, I got two plates here, you know, with the uh, five inch hole in the top, two and a half inch hole in the bottom, and then all the slots around the edge. Um, now, from my understanding, and I have no idea if this is going to work, but because of the torque of the motor, this is going to want to turn. So I was under under the impression that these, if you put veins in on an angle, f forcing the air the other way, it'll counter out that, counteract that torque. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm going to build up a little skirt here, mount the motor, uh, and so the, uh, the blade should come down just above these veins and uh, we'll see what happens. So this is uh, part one. Uh, put this together today. This is the first time. It's got a few issues. Uh, cut the back piece just a little too short, so I'll fill that in with some glue or something. Um, I've got to fix up the front just a little bit. It's not the best thing I've ever done, but uh, um, it's not bad either, so we'll see what happens. I'm thinking just for sake of uh, uh, workability on the bottom when this thing's actually hovering just in case this ever catches I'm thinking of maybe putting some uh, some sort of uh, tape or something on the bottom uh, and then obviously cutting the slots and the hole to match and uh, but I'm not sure which type of tape I would use whether it be like duct tape or um, maybe even uh, aluminum foil tape not sure, but uh, we'll see how this turns out. I'm uh, I'm excited to see how this is going to work.